Hello friends, it's Miss Anna here and I am so excited to start another week of expedition with you. So let's read our learning target. You can go ahead and take out your expedition notebook. That's not it. That's it. All right, so we are going to read our learning target. It says, I can use drawings and words to create a question for our Detroit Prep recess toy preference survey. So that's right, friends. We are going to be surveying our whole school about what toys they prefer. And we're going to be working hard on that all week. So if you're not sure what that means yet, that is okay. Let's begin by jumping into our reading and I'm going to show you what it's all about. So here is Toys Galore. We've read a little bit of this one together before. And I want you to pay extra special attention to the pictures and also the words that the pictures are showing, okay? So this says, toys are silly, toys are fun. Who loves toys? Everyone. This toy has a lot of flair. What other kinds of toys are there? It's good to know and nice to share. Round toy, square toy, dirt toy, air toy. Spring toy, string toy, what a thing toy. Small toy, tall toy, bouncing ball toy, hat toy, shoe toy, stretchy goo toy. Toys and more toys, sandy shore toys, climb it, find it, let's explore it toys. Silly city, made of blocks, a romping robot cardboard box, puppet creatures made of socks. Pots and pans toys, use your hands toys, sharing secrets with tin can toys. Squishy clay, you're fun to play with, squeeze and squash, sculpt all day with. Toys for tea time, fun time, free time, bouncing knees, toys for wee time. Zippy quick, remote control toys, jump and blast and rock and roll toys, fairies, gnomes, and ugly troll toys. That's where we're going to stop today, friends. So I want to know which toy you like better. So we're going to take a survey. A survey means when you ask a question and you answer it with your opinion. So we're going to answer the question with what we prefer. So we are going to do that by looking at our PowerPoint here. All right, so here are our pictures. So again, our choices are Zippy Quick Remote Control Toys over here. And then we have Fairy Gnomes and Ugly Troll Toys. So you can take a second and look at the picture and decide which type of toy you prefer. That means the one that you like better. Okay, so keep your vote in your brain. I also asked a couple of our friends what they like. So we're going to keep a tally mark and keep track of which toys they said. So this is our friend Linda the Lion and she said, I prefer Zippy Quick Remote Control Toys. So I'm going to put a tally mark here under Zippy Quick Remote Control Toys. So I have one here and zero here. Allison the Alligator says, I prefer fairies, gnomes, and ugly troll toys. So that means I'm going to put a tally mark under the fairies, gnomes, and ugly troll toy side. So I have one on this side and one on this side. So right now they're tied. They have the same amount. Let's see what's next. I asked Roger the Rabbit, and he said, I prefer fairies, gnomes, and ugly troll toys. So that's another vote for fairies, gnomes, and ugly troll toys. We have two here and one here. Let's see what's next. And I asked Barry the bear and he said, I prefer zippy quick remote control toys. So that would be another vote for zippy quick remote control toys. And now I have um, Francesca the frog and she said, I prefer fairies, gnomes, and ugly troll toys. So we'll put another point there. And Ella the Elephant said that she prefers Zippy Quick Remote Control Toys. 
So right now we are still tied. We're at three and three. That's why I'm keeping track. And it looks like we came out at a tie. So you have to break the tie, friends. What do you prefer? Zippy Quick Remote Control Toys or Fairies, Gnomes, and Ugly Troll Toys? It looks like the remote control toys might be like cars and stuff like that. And then the fairies and gnomes, gnomes and ugly troll toys might be um, things to play dress up with, things to play pretend with, or maybe dolls. So you can decide what you like best and break the tie. All right, so that was our survey, friends. And that is what we are gonna be doing for our entire Detroit Prep crew. But first I want you to think of different kinds of toys. So usually there are toys that we use inside and there are toys that we use outside. So we have inside recess sometimes when it's raining or snowing or when it's just too cold and we have outside recess when it's fine to go outside and we can go outside and play. So we play with different things inside and outside. So let's sort a couple of things. I know you're getting really good at sorting because you've been doing it in math. All right, so what do you think? Let's open up our PowerPoint again, and we will go to sort our toys. So on this side, we have inside toys, and on this side, we have outside toys. So I want you to help me decide puzzles, inside or outside. Probably inside, because the pieces might get lost if they were outside. Jump rope, outside, because if we played with the jump rope inside, it might whack something and knock it down and break it, and we don't want any of that. Play-Doh. Play-Doh is going to be an inside toy, that's right, because if our Play-Doh got on the ground, it would get dirty, and would we be able to use it anymore? Probably not. What about the technology, the iPad, if you're playing a game on that? Probably inside, because you wouldn't be able to see it very well if you were outside, and then also you might it might get broken or stepped on or something and we definitely don't want that. What about the sports balls? Those are also gonna be outside toys, friends, because what if we threw a ball and it broke something? Would we want that? Nope, that would be no good. What about the water table? Yep, I think that would go outside because we don't want to get the floor inside all wet because we could slip or ruin things. What about the colored pencils for drawing and creating pictures? That's right, that's gonna be an inside toy. Because outside it's a little bit hard to do drawing because you might not have a table. What about blocks? Blocks are also going to be inside toys because we wouldn't wanna lose all the blocks outside. So usually those stay inside. What about the hula hoop? Yeah, the hula hoop is an outside toy. That's something that we use our bodies for. What about a game of cards? Yeah, that also has a lot of pieces, just like the puzzles and the blocks. So we will want to keep those inside so that they don't get lost. What about this fun parachute? I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. All the kids are holding it. It looks like they're inside for this one, but I'm gonna say you could also use this one outside. So this one's gonna be a little bit in the middle, okay? So, so we could use it for either thing. So now friends, it is your turn and I want you to think of one inside toy and one outside toy, okay? They can either be something from our sort or something new that you think of and then you're gonna take out your expedition work and your expedition work is going to look just like this. And in one of the boxes here, I want you to draw an inside toy. And in the other box, I want you to draw an outside toy. Today, you're only doing the drawing. There's no writing quite yet. We'll work on our sentence and our toy preference survey question the rest of the week. Today, you're only drawing a picture. Do you remember what you're drawing a picture of? That's right, you're drawing a picture of your inside toy and your outside toy. I can't wait to see what toys you think of. 